So considering the question on the screen, uh, the crank OA moves in an anticlockwise direction, all right, it erupts in an anticlockwise direction, and as it erupts, uh, point AB, yeah, the link AB slides through the pivot of point C, all right. That point C is like a junction, but the road AB slides through it as uh, OA revolves anticlockwise. So we are told to uh, plot the locus of point B when point OA or crank OA makes a complete revolution. Okay, so the very first thing we are going to do here is this. Uh, we need to develop the same question we are seeing on the screen now. So we are told that length OA is what? It's 40 mm. So with your compass, measure 40 mm. After measuring 40 mm, place it at the center here, all right? Then what? Produce a circle in this one, all right? Produce a circle in this one. After doing that, the next thing is to divide this circle into what? Into 12 equal halves. Divide it into 12 equal halves. Okay, so after dividing the circle into 12 equal halves, we denote this area here as our point what? As our point A, all right? So how do we get the latter point A? We are told that a distance of what? 13 mm, yeah. 13 mm from the center of the circle here, measured 13 mm. And this is the mark of what? 13 mm. Or the mark of 13 mm, draw it towards horizontally. Okay, so after drawing it horizontally, mark of 13 mm horizontally, we are told that from the center of our circle OEA, the distance to point of C is what? Is 88. So with your ruler or compass, get the mark of what? Of 88. So this is my mark of what? 88 here. All right, so at that mark, uh, that is where what our pivot actually is. You can replicate that either with a circle, yeah, maybe something cylindrical like this. So we know these are what these are midpoint, which is what our point C. So this area is our point C. So what's next? The next thing to do is this. We are told that our length AB is what 145. AB is 145. So with your compass, measure 145. Okay, with mark 145 on my compass, I place my compass right on point A. I strike an arc at the bottom. In this area here okay so wherever my arc is at the bottom here from point a i align my ruler passing through point what point c because we are told that what the road a b slides through what through point c so then i'm going to what draw through point c so that's it so this is my point what now this is my point b this is going to act as my point b so take note of this that same principle which we adopt to get our point b that is what we are going to apply throughout this question what am i trying to say take notes we are told that this uh road ab moves what anti-clockwisely oa moves what anti-clockwisely so this means that the next position of uh point a is going to be where it's going to be right here so this is a1 this is a2 this a10 and what and a11 okay so for the next point of our uh road now okay so from a1 we need to get our what our b1 also so with a b is what 145 with my lens 145 on my compass i place my compass on point a1 then i what i strike an arc i strike an arc down here so striking that arc then picking my ruler i'm going to draw from point a1 through point c through point c okay just take note through point c okay my line pass through what through point C from mark A1, pass through point C. So passing through point C, this is where it touches uh, the hack here. So this is my what? This is my B1. Okay, that is my B1. Remember, this area asterisk is my B. This next one is what? Is B1. Okay, so to get our A2, still the same principle with your length of 145 or your compass, strike an arc out here, right? That is the arc. Pick your ruler and draw through point C, touching the new arc which you strike just now. Okay, then I'm going to do that now. Passing through that arc, this is where it touches the new arc which I strike. So this is my what? This is my B2. Okay, so I'm going to apply the same principle from A3. From A3 with the same length, 145. I strike another arc in this manner. All right, striking that arc, picking my ruler through point C. You know the question says what? It slides through point C. Okay, so then through point C, I'm going to what? Uh, draw another line all together through point C drawing it all together okay so this is where it touches my new arc so this is my what this is my b3 i'm going to what asterisk it there okay so the next one picking my compass on point a4 i'm going to what strike another arc right here length 145 then picking my ruler drawing through point c 
touch the new arc which I strike just now. Ensure it passes through what's through point C. Okay, dragging it. So this is where it touches the new arc now. So this is my what? This is my B4 on point A4. So for point A5, apply the same principle with your compass. Lens 145 on point A5. Strike another arc. You can see that long arc. Yeah. Okay. So pick your ruler. Rule through point C from point A5 through point C. Yeah. Drag a line through point C to touch what? That new uh, arc. So this is where it touches it. So this is my what? This is my B5. Okay. So applying the same principle on point A6 with my length of 145, I what? I strike a new arc. I strike a new arc. So then picking my ruler, then ruling through what? Ruling through point C. Okay. Ruling through point C to touch that new arc. I what? I drag it. So this is where it touches it right here so this is my what this is my b6 okay so we are applying that same principle on b7 through point c b8 b9 10 11 till we get to the last one okay so on point a11 with my mark 145 on my compass i strike a new arc okay so ensure you take note of the new arcs which you are striking so as not to get confused so this is that my new hack here this is it here so picking my ruler okay then ruling through midpoint of c you have to touch that new my this is my new arc this is the trace so through the midpoint of c and from that arc to point 11 so i need to be very very what careful not to what not to make mistake okay and this is it right there so this is my b11 here this is my b11 here okay so point b b1 b2 b3 b4 b5 B6, B7, B8, B9, B10, and what? And B11. So that is the trace of what? Of the uh, loci of on point B. So the next thing is what? Pick your French curve of let's see, curve and what? And draw out the shape of the what? Of the curve. Okay, so from point B7 to B8, I'm going to have something like this here. Okay. So, okay, so that is the loci of point B. Kindly ensure you subscribe to this channel, YouTube channel and also refer to your friends who might be in need of it. Thank you.